President Trump tonight is trying to do major damage control after bombshell recordings reveal that he admitted to repeatedly playing down the dangerous and deadly coronavirus. Well, the recordings were released by legendary journalist Bob Woodward as part of a new book he wrote about the Trump White House. And KKL9 political reporter Tom Wade is here now with the recordings and reaction to them. Tom. Hi there, Pat and Juan. That's right. President Trump can be heard on one of the recordings six months ago saying the virus was more deadly and contagious than the seasonal flu and that it was spread through the air. All this while he told Americans the virus would disappear. President Trump told Bob Woodward on February 7th before any known American deaths from the virus that he knew COVID-19 was airborne and a deadly threat. You just breathe the air. and That's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. Uh, it's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. This is deadly stuff. Three weeks later, President Trump told the American people a totally different story. It's a little like the regular flu that we have flu shots for. And we'll essentially have a flu shot for this in a fairly quick manner. Then on March 19th, with about 200 Americans already dead, the president admitted to Woodward in audio obtained by the Washington Post that he deliberately misled the country about the danger. Well, I think, Bob, really, to be honest with you, sure, I want you to I be. wanted to, uh, I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. Stay calm. Uh, it will go away. You know it. You know it is going away. The president knew in early February the virus was highly contagious, but on March 31st, with more than 5,000 Americans dead, he defended himself this way. I think the one thing nobody really knew about this virus was how contagious it was. It's so incredibly contagious, and nobody knew that. Today, President Trump claimed he was just being a good leader by not creating fear. And uh, certainly, I'm not going to. Uh, drive uh, this country or the world into a frenzy. We want to show confidence. We want to show strength. We want to show strength as a nation. And that's what I've done, and we've done very well. The bombshell book titled Rage, published by Simon & Schuster, a division of Viacom CBS, is based in part on 18 on-the-record interviews with Bob Woodward conducted with the president between December and July, apparently recorded with his knowledge. Woodward also writes that Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, called President Trump's leadership rudderless and said his attention span is like a minus number and his sole purpose is to get reelected. Today, Fauci said he doesn't remember saying any of that. You should ask others. I don't recall that at all. Woodward spoke with 60 Minutes correspondent Scott Pelley. In that February 7th interview, it's clear that the president knows what the stakes are, but he's not sharing that with the public at that time. Yes, this is the tragedy. A president of the United States has a duty to warn. The public will understand that, but if they get the feeling that they're not getting the truth, then you're going down the path of deceit and cover-up. Today, Trump's Democratic opponent, Joe Biden, seized on the recordings. He lied to the American people. He knew how dangerous it was. And while this deadly disease ripped through our nation, he failed to do his job on purpose. It was a life and death betrayal of the American people. Biden tied the president's handling of the pandemic and his decision to withhold information from the public to the current state of the economy. This is a recession created by Donald Trump's negligence, and he is unfit for this job as a consequence of it. President Trump, of course, has held multiple campaign rallies since the pandemic began, some indoors, even after he privately acknowledged knowing the virus was spread through the air. And often there are few people wearing masks at his rallies. Trump has also ridiculed Joe Biden for wearing a mask at his campaign events. Trump himself rarely appears in public wearing one. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite. Pat, back to you.